Now, if you're ready to actually load up your publication, you need to go into the Journal of the Commission Medicine part of the journal and click on Instructions for Authors. That will take you straight into this section here about how uh, publications are accepted, the types of uh, publications. And here, this link to Manuscript Central where you can submit your paper online. Once you're into the Scholar One Manuscripts program, you need to enter your user ID. If you don't have one already, you will need to create a, a register and create your password. Once you're in there, you can see we've got several different sections. The Author Center, this is where we'll be submitting our paper. The referee Center, if you get asked to be a referee for a paper, you might well enter there instead and look at a paper that's been sent to you for refereeing. And here, Section Cent Editor Center, that's for any section editors um, and the main editors to actually look at material and move it on through the system. If you are not sure how to use it, there are user tutorials. Once you're into this section here, you can choose your role and download the author user guide or ask it any other questions. Now we need to move to the author center and we are being asked to submit a new manuscript. Click on the submit a manuscript link below. Um, here you can see the submit a new manuscript. If it's EndNote format you can use here and you can see here you can actually review previous manuscripts our decisions and anything you've submitted already. Now here I'm going to submit a new manuscript and I'm going to go through this uh, as a series of things I need to do. First of all type title and abstract. What type of manuscript? This is actually mine actually for professional development section. So professional development. Rather than try and remember your title if you've already written it somewhere else, it's best to go back into Word. And in Word, I'm going to open my final document. And rather than the without title one, I'm going for my final version, or my pre-publication version. So here's my title. Copy this. Then I go into back into Safari. A title in place. Abstract. Now obviously with a document like mine which is slightly more professional hasn't got a proper abstract in that sense so what we're really putting in here um, is this overview at the beginning of the document. I'm going to copy that then go back to my document here and paste that in place. Funding. There are no funders for this. If you have been funded, you would need to enter the information here and a grant award number. So that might, it may affect, as this may be part of a conflict of interest in some situations. If you've got a co-author, you would need to add that on here. So if you're working with two or three people on one paper, you need to add details for each of the authors as you go through the system. I can then save and continue. The reviewers and editors section uh, isn't used by our journal, so basically it's left as it is. I just click on save and continue and fill out the rest of the forms. So you can either write here, as I've done, just give a short message to the editor, or you can choose a file and send a, a proper letter um, f through a file system. Next section, has this manuscript been submitted previously to the journal? No, it hasn't. So if you actually had submitted something, had been rejected, uh, and you're rewriting it almost starting from scratch, then you would need to put here it's already submitted, and your ID will be necessary for the system on the manuscript. Fee for color print, we don't need that because it's free, and also there's no color um, in my publication, so not applicable.
Now we need to confirm a number of things for our paper. Confirm that manuscripts have been submitted to Solitaire's journal, not published in press or submitted elsewhere. Check. Confirm that all research meets ethical guidelines including adherence to legal requirements of study country. It does. It's not that kind of paper. Confirm that you prepared a complete text and complete text minus the title page, acknowledgements, and any running headers or author names to allow blinded review. This is where having divide your paper into part comes in. Again, you have to have that complete text without the title page. Do you have any conflict of interest? No. We've covered more about conflict of interest elsewhere in the series of presentations. Uh, this shows confirms where it's necessary to actually put it in place. Is the manuscript kind of for special issue? No, it's just for an ordinary issue. Confirm that you've seen, read, and understood publishing guidelines on copyright and author rights. If you haven't seen those, you can go to look at those and confirm what your rights are. And further down here should be information about copyright. So I'm fine, I confirmed, I know what understand what's happening. I need to put in here manuscript information, number of figures. That's three. Colour figures zero. Number of tables one. Number of words. Right, okay. Best for number of words is go back to our friendly word. Right here I've got a full document here. And in Word, what's very useful, you can go into Tools, Word Count, and I'll tell you the number of words. You see now the number of words for this one is 2,882. OK. Back here again. 2,882. Number of manuscript pages. Uh, no, do not include figures and tables and figures. Right, OK, so when I come back into Word, I need to look at the paper without a title and without figures to get the number of pages. So if I go to Open Recent, if I click in here, you'll see that I've got uh, one of seven. So I've got seven pages. If I go back into my Scholar one, seven pages. Now click save and continue. Right, you can now see we've come to the uh, file upload section. First of all, it asked me for the title page. This is not for review. So this is where uh, the actual title page is in place with your name on it. And here I've got my final paper, I've got the title and author, and I'm going to choose that one. So now I need to upload the other files. I'm going to start with the figures. I go to my final paper, figures, I've got labelled here figure 1, 2 and 3. So first of all figure 1, my next figure. Uh, next figure, and I'm going to add a supplemental file, which is my list of captions. It is possible to actually add caption details later on, but as I want my reference to be in place, I've done it that way. Click Upload Files. The upload file process can take some quite some time and depending upon your browser um, it may seem slightly interminable. It's important to wait for the files to upload before you actually load any more up. If you're having problems with this, um, and it seems to be going on literally and forever, um, then there might be a problem you might need to reboot your restart your browser. 
so once you've these will be uploaded you can actually see that you've actually got um, this page here showing you what file has been uploaded and you can click on next so if you did want to you could actually add your file tags and caption legend here um, and put information in but we'll leave that at the moment and go back here you can actually see now on my main page that the files have actually loaded up have been entered on here I've actually got now room now to enter and load up my other files so I'm going to go first with the uh, my table here I've got table 1 choose that next one I need is my main document first my main document which is my final file with no author details on it As you can see on here just literally that no author or no title on that at all so that's the main document and that will be going through to be refereed right checks through here nothing else I need on there because my main document that I've got everything in place is not needed here uh, because all these things the table of figures will be pulled together into one file in the final stages of reviewing and submitting so I'm going to upload these files and again we see this screen again telling us what's been loaded and it shows the two files again and it shows that things have been loaded up properly and who is uploaded by and let you close that down so now I come back to my file upload you can see that I've got all my files here and I can just make sure to myself that I've got things in the right place title of review figures supplemental file table main document yep everything's there so I need to now move on to save and continue so now you can see what's happened now is that everything you've been putting in on stage one two three four five six is now being pulled together for this final stage if we needed to change anything you can literally click and go back and edit and each of these steps corresponds with these steps on here so we're going to go forward looking at this information here editors no everything on there everything is ticked and okay right okay the next thing I need to do is to review my proof so I click on the PDF will now pull all the files I've put in together and give me a PDF proof and that proof will load and here I've got my proof the only thing that doesn't seem to work correctly seem to be the um, ping files but that's more to do with the PDF process is the actual ping files themselves So, my information is there, table, and what can be worthwhile doing is to actually save a copy of this. So, I'm going to save a copy, I'm going to save a copy into my folder, proof, PDF, I'll save that. You're going to now close that down and if I come back now to this long list you'll see at the bottom that final step has been ticked off and I'm now ready to actually submit and it asks me this will submit the manuscript are you sure yes I'm sure I think I've done everything I need to do and there you can see it's then submitted Thanks for submitting your manuscript. It's also given an ID, so you do need to refer to things again. The ID is there. You can then at this point return to your dashboard. 
you'll see there here on my main dashboard I've got one under submitted manuscripts and if you wanted to you could actually click back into that and change anything you need to do and go on to submit your next manuscript if you have any problems on the way through don't forget the author resources page and here down the bottom we've actually got a um, list of emails that have been sent as soon as you actually send your paper you will find you are sent an email uh, saying they've actually received the paper as you can see and I've gone into my email account the email then shows that the paper has successfully been submitted online and it's been given full consideration ready for publication